Well, hello everyone. Um, I'm doing the thought for today on uh, the first of uh, our Advent themes as we uh, make our way towards Christmas. And uh, we're kicking off the beginning of this series with the um, idea of hope. That's what I'm kicking off with today. Now, of course, the Christian hope isn't the wishy-washy idea of we often have uh, when we use hope in normal conversation. Um, such as if I'm about to um, uh, go out on a walk and there's dark clouds, clouds rolling across the sky and I, I say, well, I, I hope it doesn't rain. Ever the optimist. It, that sometimes is true and sometimes it isn't and I get wet. But hey, it's only water. No, the uh, Christian hope is a much more robust and, um, uh, you know, uh, definite idea it's really the idea that of, of a confident expectation of good things uh, from God. And the Christmas story, of course, is awash with hope, as one would hope and expect. Just a couple of examples um, that I just wanted to share with you. Firstly, the uh, example of the uh, wise men who had consulted their astrological charts and then travelled um, many, many hundreds of miles uh, to a foreign land to search uh, for the baby Jesus. And of course, there is a particular favourite of mine, uh, the story of Simeon, which I'd just like to uh, read with you now. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon, who was righteous and devout, he was waiting for the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die be before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the customs of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all people, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people, Israel. The thought I wanted to share uh, with us all today was that this hope in Jesus which we remember at Christmas, sustains us through the toughest of life's journeys. The wise men had a difficult and long journey to a foreign country, but they persevered and they met Jesus. Simeon had probably waited some time, and I always imagine him as an older person, but he was sustained by the wonderful promise he had been given. He remained hopeful. As we travel through this awful pandemic, this Christmas message of solid hope should help sustain us through the dark days of winter. It helps us to remember that we're not alone. I am not alone. You are not alone. We are not alone. We are lovingly embraced in the kind and gentle arms of Jesus, the vulnerable baby who grew up to be a great leader and is now exalted in heaven with God the Father. Can I leave you with an image painted by a particular favourite of mine, Charlie Mackesy, who draws and uh, writes many, many encouraging and helpful uh, pictures and, and words. This picture is of someone slumped over the keys of a piano, exhausted. But there's also a representation of the Holy Spirit who is sustaining the melody as he hopefully sustains us. I hope you have a
good rest of the day and just meditate and think upon the hope that we have in our loving Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you.